Uh, yeah, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ready. and uh, today in this video, we are going to solve one of the data analyst project that is uh, Swiggy. So, this wallet completely I am doing from the end to end uh, regarding to how to download the data set from the Jagger and uh, which data set I have downloaded. And I will explain about the data set, what are the columns and those are present in the data set. After this, what are the necessary libraries required to work on the data analyst uh, project? Also, I will also import that and uh, I will show you how to install that uh, libraries regarding to that also. After that, we are going some of the basic analysis and uh, some of the basic uh, like uh, visualization as well as with the advanced level. So, if I start somewhere, uh, like uh, I will go, like I will show you how to clear the uh, like the problems if you are struggling with. So if you got an errors, uh, let me, I will also tell you how to solve the errors and what are the some of the pack like uh, things present in the packages like founders and numpy and the um, c1 let me show each and everything okay so first let me show you that about the data so this is the data i can um, i downloaded from the Kaggle. so swiggy data set so this swiggy data set have a id area and city, restaurant, price, average rating, total rating, food type, address, and delivery uh, time also. Here, price, average rating, and total rating, and delivery time is in the form of numerics, and remaining columns are in the form of uh, stat and like uh, strings, uh, where the address is a uh, both combination of uh, stats, uh, like uh, uh, both the combination of numbers and uh, strings. So, so we clearly observe that we have the area like uh, places which is present in a cities uh, like Bangalore or uh, uh, Hyderabad uh, some of the data we have by clearly visible we get the things like Pune, Kolkata and some of the restaurant names also they have provided and the price of the restaurants also present in the based on the uh, people and the based on the price they have mentioned okay so let me go towards the Jupyter notebook I'm using the Jupyter notebook to work on these things Okay, now let me install the requirement libraries for installation. First, I need to install pip install numpy. So, I need to install the numpy, and same like that, I am going to install pip install pandas. So, this is the second package, and third, I am going to install pip install. Next, finally, I am installing C1. Pip install C1. Right. So these are the four basic fundamental packages uh, you need to know when you are going to solve the data science or data analysis projects. So as a number installation requirement satisfy, founders requirement satisfy and uh, matlab lib is also requirement satisfied c1 is also requirement satisfied then now the, we install each and every package let me import that import our uh, numpy has uh, np import founders has pd import matplotlib dot plot has pld next import format is csv and the, i need to paste the location of a csv file CSV. let me run yeah now data is loaded okay i need to see basic analysis of the uh, top five rows top five rows for the data dot pet so these are the top five rows present in a data. Like the bottom five rows. Bottom five rows. Data dot type. 
so these are the bottom five rows so yeah, these are the bottom five rows let me see statistical description of data of data so for this i need to see data dot describe this method is used to find the statistical analysis of a numeric columns only it provides the statistical analysis of a numeric columns so like statistical analysis mean that count mean standard deviation minimum value 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent maximum value these are some of the statistical analysis given for the numeric values okay let me see or uh, let me find is there any null values find any null values present in a data so for that we have a two condition one is uh, is none or is none these are the two methods we use to find the null values let me use one thing one by one okay data dot is none is none so let me see so it, sh it shows it complete false 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 that means that there is no null value present in this entire rows and columns okay so I, I now i am getting some little bit confused about this so i can't able to identify exact the null values present in a data so for that like if you want to need a count of a null values you need to use this data dot is nan dot sum if you use this uh, this uh, this function represented like it will count the total number of null values present in each column so for our case we don't have any null values so this is a one type of format we can also see another type data does is null dot at any if you use this function it represented there is if any value present in any column it simply shows the true if there is no any value or like uh, if there is no null values present in a column it will shows the false okay so this is the things of a basic analysis so if you want to know some more basic analysis so simply go for the pandas pandas is the official website like uh, documentation so we can move for the documentation user guide so you need to and uh, tag like let me see the view data let me see the view data so we see that head tile so index let's show let me show the index okay let me see the index so what is the function of this uh, let me click on this i need a in detail explanation about it okay i need to use the data brand of index so if i use this okay if i go for like i need to find the index how many indexes are present so to find index find index data dot index right this is a function let me run so we need to give the uh, range of index where need to come back so i need to provide data dot index of a range starting from 0 to starting from 0 to 400 for the steps of 1 let me run so here i got an error that is the type error uh, range index object is not capable so i need to solve this error just simply copy this code go for the google paste over here you will be uh, you will see the stack overflow right you will see the stack overflow click on it so let, just check about it so where you have find this so this is the same error he also got right? but he tried to convert this range into the d of dot index equals to list of index he, he has written like this let me uh, convert the data into the list index of okay i get an error d of dot index equals to list of list of list of ds dot index let me run this code now af dot index let me see the values now i got the total indexes present in a data so you can also see the uh, bottom index and top index so bottom index is the, this one the bottom one and the top is zero the same like that you also get it length of it is 68 eight, sorry 8680 right 8680 this is the bottom one 8680 here yeah. this is the index total length is 8680 and the bottom one is 8679 is the last one 
So these are the things. Let me so let me find the what are the exact columns present in a data. Data dot columns. Data dot columns. If you use this function, you will get an entire columns which are present in a data. Entire column which are present in a data. Okay. Let me see some more of the things. Uh, so if I find any view forms, so now by things describe I have the user transform sort the data. So what are the values? So coming to the like the selection, is there anything it's too late to hit and yeah. So let me show you. Let me show you. I need to select select isolated column. Select isolated column. For selecting of isolated column, we need to mention like this. We need to mention like this. Okay, let me run this code. So this is isolated column I got. So data from the data I am extracting the city only the city column like that. If you want to highlight in the two data, so I need to mention city comma price. These are the column names present in the data. So these are the two data. So I need to mention the only top rows of the things. So this is the top five rows of a data individual data. I am passing only individual data like I am taking only Two data. So if you want to use as isolated data, you can simply use a single bracket. If you want to use as a thing, we can use. Let me type one more thing. What are the values? Columns present. Mm, let me take the area also. Run. So let me show how the data will be run. So I got an error. Area is out of the index. Area is out of the index, it shows the area out of the index. Let me go for the Google and verify these things. Age is not in the index, so it shows. So if I uh, got like this, uh, let me rename it like this only. Okay, that now you get the things. So after that, I will show you some of the about the things why I got this area and this equals to this. Okay, and uh, if you want to get the location of a point, data dot i look i location of a four. So no axis name four. So let me run this again. So this is a index of four. Like let me show you this and. It will show you how it shall be presented. Data. I to pause like this. Now this is a data of a row number for index four. Let me write this. the data of a five thousand six hundred seventy row. If I mention some more, it's a thing. If I mention nine, it will show the out of the range. Single position index is not an out of. So because our data is the length is a six a zero only. So let me try a six a zero. It will also show the same error because our last element is a six seven nine, right? A six seven nine. It shows the last element the data. Let me also show you the tile of the data also. So this is a the order ID is four six six four eight eight. See that the same thing for four six four four eight. Same thing we have got it. So this is a some of the basic analysis we are performing on the data like advanced to beginner level. If you want to try some more uh, thing, you can simply go for the official website pandas. You will find the things. So after that, uh, we are going to see. After that, we are going to see data visualization. After that, we are going to see data visualization. Okay, so for that I am using the SNS dot. Firstly, I am going to draw the bar chart, bar chart, and passing the data and x axis equals to city, x axis equals to city, comma y axis equals to price. Okay, let me run. It will take some. Yeah, this is a uh, bar chart of a data. So same like that, I am going to draw bar plot. Sorry, bar plot and box plot. Let me show for the box plot. 
same I am passing the same data data x equals to cd same thing I am passing x equals to cd let me test with different different uh, modules like uh, I am taking the delivery time delivery time on the y axis let me run this yeah this is the delivery time of a box plot so there is a, some of the outliers also present in each and everywhere so based on the Bangalore also there is outlier Mumbai is also outlier Mahmood um, Hinabad is also some of the outliers some for the same box plot sns dot uh, box plot of let me take the data x equals to same cd x equals to cd y equals to i need to take some other column that is average rating like let me see which state have average rating is there anything let me run this code so here i don't get any null values like sorry outliers so these are the outliers right these are the outliers but here i didn't find any null values same code let me change the for the another like we have a different different memory columns right we have a different memory columns Total ratings. Let me see for the total ratings. Total ratings. So uh, this graph is totally black covered by So there is a huge amount of outliers is present in the total ratings. Like this is the problem. The graph is not visible clearly. So it's clear. It's not clear. So let me see for some more graphs. So if you want to see some more graphs, I don't know how to find. Simply go for the C one. Go for the C1, uh, you will get the distribution plots here. Uh, click on the distribution, we may get set up it. And if you want to see for the categorical plots, you can go for the categorical plots. Same if you want to see the some of the regression plots, there is a multiple types of plots is present. Right? So let me take some of the example here. And uh, these are the common object plots, okay. Dot of uh, line, line chart plots, these are the common plots. Okay, let me take this scatter plot. Okay, let me take this scatter plot. Uh, the same here only. Uh, SNS dot scatter plot data x equals to cd same like y equals to uh, price. Let me take a price. It makes it easy to implement. Let me run this code. So, this is the prices of a city present in a scatter plot. Okay. These are the prices that are present in a scatter plot. So let me take for the SNS dot scatter plot of data x equals to same I am taking the city y equals to I am taking the uh, delivery time. Let me take the uh, total ratings, average ratings. Okay, let me take the del delivery time. I need to take the uh, delivery. Let me run. Wow, this data is completely like this. The data is so Bangalore. There is a approximately 80 minutes is the delivery time is the highest. Uh, whereas coming to the Kolkata city is more than two hours the delivery time is uh, taken for the order. So that's completely very fast about these uh, cities. And uh, we have some more plots of the categorical plots. So next, let me try for the cat plot. Yeah, how it works. Uh, cat plot uh, in this cloud plot, we are going to see like a strip plot okay uh, like sns dot strip strip plot of data and to pass the data gamma x equals to cd same thing and taking the like y axis y equals to price two things and then let me run this so this is a Strip plot I got it on the uh, X city and place. Let me see. Uh, there is a one sum of the plots like spam plot. Spam plot. Let me same type. Let me take the same city and uh, price and work on the SWAR spam plot. Let me run this code. Uh, so if I get uh, spelling this right, SWAR and PLO plot. X axis, Y axis is common. So let me wait for some time it will load it. So I got some warnings. 
Tango var, tango var neymiş? take some time to get the output because I'm on the data is used so that's why it's showing some of the waiting purpose like warnings also So guys, uh, so if you are looking for learning a data science or data analyst or business analyst uh, on digital marketing or uh, try to uh, add with us, the, I, will give, I will provide the new contact number also. So we will try and you up into the uh, IT world related projects and uh, we, we have a, get a chance to work directly with the client also in the real time projects. So that is the best opportunity we are providing and uh, we will also place in some of the competitions for you so if you got the if you win the competition you will definitely get the prize money uh, according to the competitions also so yeah I, I hope it will take some of the time mm, let me wait for some time i think so the data is a huge uh, for these two sets that's why it's showing the like this Let me, I will let me take for this uh, SW standard of uh, data x equals to ct save and take y equals to price next to use equals to based on based on I need to divide by the average ratings so this is the thing let me uh, just give me some time. Let me wait for some time. Like that. it is uh, forwarding these types of things or not. But it's taking too time. Let, let me uh, okay. Now let me cancel the things and I am running again with another go. Let me take, uh, let me think how much time it will take uh, for execution. So uh, it will take so much of time. Let me restart the program. No, it takes so much of time. Let me run the code again. Uh, is there anything? Import, uh, import, load, top file. So these are the basics I am providing. Yeah, this thing, 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 so on, so on, so on. So. Now it will take. Yeah, fine. Now the day clear. So we have a different plots. Okay, you can check out this uh, plan also. Let me see this value plot. How this value plot is also work uh, for that uh, simply I'm going to take data dot value plot value plot and passing the data x equals to ct and uh, y equals to and taking the value plot in the price yeah based on this so data frame has no bit of uh, value plot you got sorry there is no, I'm not using this SNS. now it's good so this is a uh, value plots present in the data so guys uh, this is all some of the graphs uh, I'm analyzing the based on the data so finally you need to give the conclusion about this data also make the comment about the conclusion what you mentioned for this type of analysis and try yourself on different different examples at time you will get the complete information about the conclusion also that's the main important so I hope you are understand this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thank you.